going on everybody? I'm Johnny Brook. Welcome back to the 2014 Drew Estate IPCBR booth. I'm here with my man Pedro Gomez. How you doing Pedro? I'm doing very good man. Everything has been going great. I would like to welcome everybody to the IPCPR 2014. The show has been incredible man. And we got the, the award of the best booth of 2014 which is something very cool. That's a teamwork and pretty much something that we do for here at Drew Estate. When it comes to the booth, the booth is not about us. It's about all the people that support the company. So it's, it's great, man. So what do you think? Oh, I'm loving it, man. I'm having a good time. So you've been on the road the past couple of months visiting shops and everything. How's that been? It has been incredible, man. I will say that a lot of people that I have met in the past, uh, people that I have met maybe eight years ago in Drew Estate Factory, now that I'm here in the United States doing, you know, cigar event all over the country, seeing people that it's amazing. Yeah. All my, all everybody, you know, here in this in the cigar business, you don't see your customers as a customers. You see them as a friend, and you also see them as a family. Yeah. So also, you know, meeting new people and letting them know, you know, everything about tobacco, the tobacco from Nicaragua, everything about the cigar factory in Nicaragua, everything about our new products. Everything that Drew Estate represents in this business, it is incredible, man. Nice. Very, very good. Well, I'm glad. That's a big opportunity for you. I'm uh, very proud of you. you know, I've known you for a couple of years now. It's been, uh, it's been a good time. So why don't we talk a little bit about Nicaragua? That's kind of our tribute to Nicaragua and Esteli, and obviously that's where you're from. So, yeah, tell us a little bit about that. Thank you so much. That's a good question, man. First of all, this cigar right here is no joke. This is one of my favorite cigars from Drew Estate. I mean, there is a lot of great cigars, but everybody has their own personal preference, you know? So Nicarusica, for me, being from Esteli, born and raised, it is the most incredible experience because at the end of the day, you know, I have never pictured myself that I wouldn't be doing cigar events, that I wouldn't be meeting people talking about the cigar that are handmade in Esteli. Yeah. It is amazing. See the amount of people that nowadays have jobs because of the tobacco industry. You're talking about 30,000 people that works in the cigar factory. You're talking about well-known cigar companies that are from Nicaragua. Everybody that works in the tobacco fields, people that works in the factory that made the boxes. And not even counting on the indirect benefit that the Esteli City has because the the tobacco industry is in Esteli, you know? I really would like to take the opportunity to thank all the cigar companies that are based out of Esteli, all those companies that provide jobs and that provide a good living to all the families that work directly for the factory. So, talking about Nica Rustica, Nica Rustica is a cigar that, first of all, every cigar should have a good story. And the story behind Nica Rustica is the best story I have ever I have he ever heard and I'm not saying this because I work for Drew Estate when it comes to Nica Rustica you are talking about El Brujito. What El Brujito means? El Brujito is what we call it in SLA which is the Indian medicine man. It's the little shaman. Basically you know El Brujito what it is a petroglyph that was found in a rock and the rock was found where Esteli city is. Nowadays, Esteli have become the tobacco capital of the world, and therefore that was a, a trivia that Drew Estate did last year in 2013 when we released the Nica Rusica. Man, it has been awesome, man. One thing that I can tell you about this cigar, the presentation of the cigar comes on a very nice tray. It comes on a very, uh, the cigar comes in a soft pack with a pyramid shape, and you have 25 cigars right there, the wrapper that we use for Liga Privada number nine, which is the broad leaf wrapper that comes from the state of Connecticut, we use it in Nica Rustica, but we use it the lower primings. Yep. So Nica Rustica stands for Nica as a Nicaragua, Rustica for rustic. So basically, you know, the cigar has a very rustic appealing, a very rustic taste, but when it comes to the flavor, man, this stuff is gonna blow your mind. I'm not joking, man. You gotta give it a try, man. Nica Rusica is a cigar that could became the daily smoke because when it comes to the price, man, the Nica Rusica has the most friendly price in the industry. So give it a try, man. All right. Thank you, Pedro. It's been awesome. Thank you follow so much. Pedro, Drew Estate Pedro, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and uh, continue to follow all the action at drewestate.com slash IPCBR. Peace.